You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of royal family members and officials at Iqbabiya Palace today, where a number of local matters were discussed. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed the national industry should play a bigger role in Bahrain's economy, where the government has made available all the necessary requirements and incentives for these industries to succeed. His Royal Highness said that national industries should continue in its path towards further development to make Bahrain to claim a greater reputation as an industrial center regionally and globally. His Royal Highness added that food industry should move towards catering to a regional and international market as well. His Rohan has said that the government is committed to offering the latest technology in the field of healthcare for citizens, adding that citizens are Bahrain's most valuable resource and that offering the best possible services to the citizens is intended to help them play an active role in the development of the country. His Rohan has then discussed a number of topics that have to do with the government's projects which are aimed at meeting the expectations and aspirations of the citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the Bahrain International Airport to review the progress of the airport expansion project. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was welcomed by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and other senior government officials. The Crown Prince toured different parts of the project, including the new main passenger terminal, which stretches across 210,000 square meters. Once fully completed, the expansion project will increase the airport's annual passenger capacity from 9 million to 14 million introduce 25 Mars air bridges and a state-of-the-art automated early baggage storage system, EBS, as well as a multi-story car park enough for an additional 2,700 vehicles. His Rohan has also reviewed the progress of the National Air Traffic Management Program, which was recently introduced to ensure seamless operations across the airport's new facilities and terminal. During the visit, His Rohan is the Crown Prince highlighted that, in line with His Majesty the King's vision to advance prosperity and development, the expansion will provide significant job opportunities for citizens, including a bespoke training program Tahliq, designed to hone the skills of Bahrainis managing airport operations. His Rohan has also highlighted the important contribution Bahrain's skilled workforce makes in expanding national assets for future generations and added that their dedication and commitment have been central to the success of the expansion project. The Crown Prince emphasized the importance of investing in local transport projects and stressed that the expansion will put the international airport at the center of Bahrain's advanced logistics sector. His Rohan as the Crown Prince noted that Bahrain is committed to making the best use of this national asset to bolster its pioneering role as a regional hub for businesses looking to tap into the region's diverse market. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, expressed thanks and gratitude for his Rohanis the Crown Prince's visit, saying that the visit reflects his commitment to advancing Bahrain's thriving logistics sector. He also took the opportunity to highlight the ongoing progress of the new passenger terminal and noted that the launch of the new terminal remains on schedule.
On behalf of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa participated in the closing ceremony of King Abdul Aziz Camel's Festival in its third edition held in Al Dana region, nor northeast of Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in the presence of princes, their highnesses, and excellencies from the Gulf countries. On this occasion, His Highness affirmed that His Majesty is keen to keep the Kingdom of Bahrain in such festivals, which promote the values, principles, and heritage to support the various sports heritage inherited from ancient times. The festival was designed to be the first and most important site in the world for camels. The first section of the village includes the area of Al Maizan Square. The section includes the visitor stand, the auction area, the registration offices, and the sites of the Jalabin and the Path of Camels. The King Abdulaziz Camel Festival revived the Dahana Desert or the Southern Saya, which was one of the areas of trade routes from the east of the Arabian Peninsula to the west and vice versa. The festival featured different aspects of folklore represented in handicraft and traditional crafts. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received various media personnel in the presence of the Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Al Rumehi, Minister of Youth and Sports Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, and CEO of the National Communications Center Ahmed Mohammed Al Manai. His Highness said that Bahraini sports are experiencing progress and development in accordance with the vision of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, who represents the biggest backer of the sports and youth sector in the country, along with support from His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince as well. His Highness said that Bahraini sports have begun to achieve some of its objectives which affirm the soundness of the plans and projects of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that among the most important initiatives that His Highness Sheikh Nasser has put forth in the national project is Tijaba. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the wide participation on part of the youth and sports sector in the sport Summit, which His Highness said reflected their commitment to contributing to the drafting of sports related policies in Bahrain. His Highness said that the summit proves the togetherness and strength of the youth and sports family, which is evident in their support of the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that the youth and sports sector should be based on the principles of transparency, fair competition, and togetherness. His Highness added that Bahrain's sport media will become an important partner in the upcoming phase of development where individuals will be nominated from the community to take part in committees that will be tasked to study recommendations and execute them.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the Inherited Sports Challenge organized by the Bahrain Olympic Committee's Popular Heritage Sports Committee. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned the winners of the competition, which aims to promote all professions of Bahrain. The competition, which included children's games, an exhibition for productive families, and heritage exhibits, witnessed a large turnout. On the occasion, His Highness stated that he is following the steps of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to preserve the authentic Bahraini identity and noted the keenness to promote traditional sports. His Highness affirmed that the competition is part of the vision that aims to promote originality and patriotism to preserve the Bahraini identity and heritage. His Highness stressed that efforts will continue to promote the culture of heritage sports for the youth. He also praised the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Rasad bin Hamad Al Khalifa in promoting heritage sports, noting the role played by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to promote the youth and sports movement. Sheikh Khalid praised the level of participants, noting that the wide participation reflects the success of the competition and the success of the organizing committee. His Highness also hailed the efforts of the president of the Popular Heritage Sports Committee, Khalifa Al Garoud, to implement ideas that contribute to the preser preservation of heritage sports. His Highness congratulated the top 10 winners, wishing them further success. The Inherited Sports Challenge, which was launched for the first time in the kingdom, brought over 200 competitors under one roof in an effort to preserve Bahrain's national heritage and encourage and engage the youth in both sports and traditional events. This is one of the Al Mawruth uh, games uh, of uh, traditional, and this is the first time we are doing this type, but this is the first time in Bahrain. I don't know, I have no idea if the, in the Gulf anyone done in this uh, you know, level because it's completely traditional. The place, the dress of the players, the games. The games is about the Bahraini's life past our you know, grandfathers, these things. This is like, like a film. We are showing this guy, our new generation, that what our... Yani grandpa was doing or solving the, the, the challenge in their life. The competition resembles a historic day for Bahrain and reflects the kingdom's efforts in supporting and hosting sporting events that strengthen the values of patriotism and belonging to the nation. This event is so fair because it's, it's good for people who is fitness and the people who like bodybuilding. So it's suitable for both of them, not, not only concentrate on one, one uh, place. Well, it reflects uh, our traditional life, you know. Um, it uh, really brings me back to childhood and, you know. An award ceremony took place to congratulate the winning participants who have shown endless potential and high-level performances throughout the challenges. Hosting the challenge aims to continue to promote traditional sports among the youth to ensure its sustainability throughout the different generations. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council and President of the Parliamentary Division Executive Committee, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, chaired a coordination committee meeting held today of the participation of the Parliamentary Division delegation to the 12th periodic meeting of the Presidents and Speakers of the Shura and Representative Councils and the 11th meeting of the Parliamentary Coordination and Foreign Relations Committee held in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The meeting was attended by the member of the Parliamentary Division delegation participating in the GCC meeting. Zainal affirmed the importance of bolstering joint parliamentary work between the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and coordinating stances in regional and international parliamentary events. She noted that the meetings of the Gulf Legislative Councils are considered a main pillar of the joint parliamentary work system, asserting that the Kingdom is keen on activating parliamentary diplomacy and its vital role in developing and enhancing parliamentary relations on all levels. During the meeting, the participation arrangements and its latest developments were discussed and the participation program and the accompanying meetings were reviewed. The Shura Council held its weekly session today, presided over by the Chairman of the Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The meeting approved a draft law amending certain provisions of Decree Law 76 of 2006 regarding unemployment insurance. The law aims to raise the minimum and maximum amounts to compensate for unemployment insurance, face the rise of the consumer index, a positive increase in the average wages of Bahrainis, and to allow the use of the surplus of the unemployment insurance account to fund the voluntary retirement program. It also gives government employees the opportunity to participate in strengthening the labor market through the use of their experience in the field of entrepreneurship, private sector activities and economic growth. The Council approved the recommendation of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a draft law to ratify the agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Morocco on air services. In appreciation of the efforts exerted by government authorities whose service centers were honored by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince as part of Taqim program, a number of members of the Government Service Center Evaluation Committee headed by the CEO of Information and E-Government Authority, Mohamed Ali al qaid visited the centers that achieved the gold category ranking as part of Taqim program. The members of the Government Service Center's Evaluation Committee thanked the staff of their continuous efforts and dedication to improve the provided services. Upon the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units in all governorates, the Ministry of Housing continued to distribute contracts for the Bushaheen District unit projects in East Head Town. The Assistant Under Secretary for Policies and Housing Services, Dr. Khalid Abdurrahman Al Haydan, stated that the procedures for delivering the contracts of the Bushaheen District units comes within the framework of the timetable prepared by the Ministry to implement the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, stressing that this project project is of great importance as it contributes to meeting many of the housing applications. The Assistant Undersecretary added that the new units come within the framework of the Ministry's keenness on increasing the pace of distributing housing units to citizens, highlighting the advanced completion rates of the project stages. al Haidan noted that the Ministry will soon complete implementing the order of His Highness, the Crown Prince, to distribute 5,000 housing units to citizens listed on the waiting list. He reiterated the Ministry's keenness to complete the timetable for the distribution of 5,000 housing units and to complete the housing applications applications included in the distribution program. Bahrain marked the celebration of the Hindu festival of Holi, popularly known as the Festival of Colors, at the Sri Krishna Temple in Manama, gathering the Indian community along with their Bahraini brothers to celebrate with great happiness and enthusiasm. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. In Bahrain's oldest Hindu temple that has been standing in the heart of Manama for almost 200 years, the kingdom celebrates Holi in full spirit, gathering around 3,600 people, not only from the Indian community, but also Bahraini citizens and residents to share the colors of joy and happiness with their brothers at Sri Krishna Temple. Even better than what we do it in India, and, and that is one of the reasons when you are in Bahrain, the community feels it is their second home, and they do everything that they do in India. So it is great to be a part of the celebration in Bahrain. We really, uh, it's, it's unique, it's a unique experience of how Holi is being celebrated outside India, where you feel that you are in India and not only among the community, but with the friends from Bahrain. Families and friends splashed themselves and each other with brightly colored powder and were joined by the temple priests. 
Such a festive celebration is a testament to the tolerance and peaceful coexistence enjoyed in the kingdom, where everyone can live safely and practice any religion's rituals freely and peacefully. Members of different communities were expressing their happiness in Bahrain, their second home. I am the chairman of Hindu temple here in Bahrain since so many years and we have been celebrating our this color uh, festival of colors and we are happy to see so many here not only Hindus but all the religions they come and they take part here. We are proud of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for giving us this opportunity to what you call celebrate our festivals without any fear. We to enjoy our holy function since the beginning, since, uh, since I came in 1955. And we have been enjoying this holy festival since then. Every year we are enjoying and we are very pleased to see all the people coming and uh, enjoying over here. The festive occasion was attended by many dignitaries, distinguished guests, government officials and diplomats from the kingdom. Bahrain continues to showcase its long-standing commitment to upholding the principles of peaceful coexistence, openness and mutual respect. The Hindu temple has been here in Bahrain for almost 200 years now and every year they celebrate the holy festival of colors with bright colors and good luck. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul